Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to test out this Kimber Carbon Compact R7. Uh, gonna see what I think about it as uh, an application for a defensive gun, concealed carry gun, home defense gun, uh, what have you. Uh, it's nine millimeter. Uh, it's similar in size to a Glock 19. I think maybe just a little bit smaller or thinner. Uh, you have to take a look at their website and get some detailed stuff on that. Uh, the one I have here has a uh, Hollow Sun 407K on it. Also has some pretty decent iron sights. Uh, a little bit later, I'm gonna put the plate on there, take the dot off and shoot it without the dot. Kind of see what I think there. Out of the box has a really nice, clean, crisp trigger. Um, put it on the gauge last night and it's breaking like four pounds, five ounces pretty consistently. Uh, but it's pretty short, clean, crisp break. Uh, comes with a mag weld that you can take off if you want to. Comes with different size back straps. Uh, size that however you like. I usually like kind of smaller stuff. Uh, does come with 15 round magazines. Today I'm gonna test, and, and a pretty nice bag. I'm gonna test it out today with some uh, Supervel. I've got some 147 right here. That's 124 there, and that's some 115 right there. Uh, so I'm gonna start with 147s, kind of see how, how it does, what I'll think about it, and then kind of move into the other stuff. Let's go ahead and load it up and do some shooting. Not bad, let's do that a little bit more. Uh, handles recoil, pretty decent for a gun this size and the trigger, yeah, nice and crisp. All right, there was the 147s. Let's see how it does with the Supervel 124s. Right. All right, how much bullets we got left? Let's do this, one, two, and two. Here we go. All right, well, maybe just one. Two and one. <laughs> All right, the 115 stuff. Let's see how it handles that. Typically, uh, you know, your 115 stuff is going to be a little bit snappier. Um, There's 115 grain bullets, uh, you know, 1,150 feet per second of the gun they tested in. So I don't know how it's going to be on this one, but it'll be snappier than the other one. So let's see how this gun handles that. Right. Not bad, not bad. Let's take a little longer plate. Not bad at all, and one longer long run. All right, that target I just hit was 875 yards. If you believe me, I might get into real estate. I'm joking. It's 25 yards, no doubt though. Um, it's the same size as these ones right here. Um, you know, they're like 11 inches wide and 18 inches tall, a little bit smaller in a C zone. But hey, um, there's three mags. I shot it a bunch uh, yesterday. I'm gonna shoot a little bit more today. And uh, you know, initial impressions, the gun's accurate, the trigger's clean. Uh, pretty small gun, um, light enough to carry. I think it'd be a pretty decent option for a concealed carry gun or a defensive shooting kind of gun. Um, and not too bad to rip around just a little bit with, but there's probably some better options to you know, do some full bore ripping with. But hey, that's what I think about it. Y'all check it out, see what you think.